Welcome to today's video on how to make your own USB rubber ducky using OpenAI. If you're a tech-savvy individual looking to take your hacking skills to the next level, then this tutorial is for you. The USB rubber ducky is a powerful hacking tool that can be disguised as an ordinary USB flash drive, but when plugged into a computer, it acts as a keyboard and can execute pre-programmed keystroke commands at lightning-fast speeds. This allows you to perform various malicious actions on a target machine, such as stealing passwords or installing malware, without the victim even realizing it. In this tutorial, we will show you how to use OpenAI to create your own customized version of the USB rubber ducky, using the ducky script programming language. We'll walk you through the process step by step, from setting up the development environment to testing your final product. So, let's get started. Have you heard of the USB rubber ducky? It's a hacking tool that looks just like an ordinary USB flash drive, but when plugged into a computer, it acts as a keyboard and can enter keystroke commands as if a person was typing them in. This means it can take advantage of the trust that computers have in humans and their typical methods of communication, like clicking and typing. The original rubber ducky was released over a decade ago and has become a popular choice among hackers. It has undergone a number of updates since then, but the latest edition is even more powerful and flexible. The new Ducky script programming language lets users write functions, store variables, and use logic flow controls, which means it can run tests to determine if it's plugged into a Windows or Mac machine and execute the appropriate code, or even disable itself if it's connected to the wrong target. It can also generate random numbers to add variable delays between keystrokes for a more human-like effect. One of the most dangerous capabilities of the rubber Ducky is its ability to steal data from a target machine. It can encode the data in binary format and transmit it through the signals that are used to turn on the caps lock or noom lock LEDs. This means that an attacker could plug it in for just a few seconds, retrieve it, and have access to all the passwords on the target machine. While the rubber ducky is certainly a formidable threat, it does require physical access to the device in order to be used, so most people aren't at high risk of being targeted. However, it's still important to be aware of its capabilities and to be cautious about what devices you plug into your computer. To create your own USB rubber ducky, you will need to follow these steps. Step 1. Gather your materials. To build your own USB rubber ducky, you'll need a few basic materials. The most important of these is a Teensy 2.0 USB development board, which can be purchased online or at a local electronics store. You'll also need a USB-A to micro-B cable, a soldering iron, and some basic soldering supplies. Step 2. Download the firmware and software. Next, you'll need to download the firmware and software required to program your USB rubber ducky. You can find these resources on the official HOT5 website, or by searching online. Once you've downloaded the files, install the software on your computer and unzip the firmware. Step 3. Connect the Teensy board to your computer. Now it's time to connect the Teensy board to your computer. Simply plug the micro B end of the USB cable into the Teensy board, and the A end into your computer's USB port. Your computer should recognize the Teensy board as a new USB device. Step 4. Load the firmware onto the Teensy board. With the Teensy board connected to your computer, open the firmware software you downloaded in Step 2. Follow the prompts to load the firmware onto the Teensy board. This process may take a few minutes, but once it's complete your Teensy board will be ready to use as a USB rubber ducky. Step 5. Write your ducky script. Now it's time to write your ducky script, which is the code that will be executed when your USB rubber ducky is plugged into a target computer. You can write your ducky script using any text editor, or you can use the online ducky script development suite provided by Hawk5. Simply type out the commands you want the USB rubber ducky to execute, one per line, and save the file when you're finished. Step 6. Compile and load your ducky script onto the Teensy board. With your ducky script written, it's time to compile it and load it onto the Teensy board. Use the firmware software you installed in Step 2 to compile your Ducky script, and then load it onto the Teensy board. This process may take a few minutes, but once it's complete your USB rubber ducky will be ready to use. Step 7. Use your USB rubber ducky. To use your USB rubber ducky, simply plug it into a target computer and wait for it to execute your ducky script. Remember to be responsible and ethical when using your USB rubber ducky, and always respect the privacy and security of others. Using OpenAI can help you write more advanced ducky script code, by using machine learning algorithms to analyze large datasets of legal precedent and legislation, and formulating legal advice in real time. This can help you to create more sophisticated attack payloads, and make the USB rubber ducky a more powerful tool for hacking. 
However, it is important to remember that using the USB rubber ducky for illegal purposes is a crime and can result in severe legal consequences. And if you feel that you need more explanation to build your USB rubber ducky I advise you to ask OpenAI. With the help of OpenAI, you can easily learn and understand the steps involved in creating your own hacking tool. By following the instructions and using OpenAI's explanations and guidance I am sure that you will be able to overcome any obstacles. Conclusion Congratulations, you now have your very own USB rubber ducky, customized to your liking using OpenAI. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you'll continue to experiment with the ducky script programming language to come up with even more advanced and sophisticated payloads. Remember, the USB rubber ducky is a powerful tool that should be used responsibly and ethically. Don't use it to perform malicious actions or break the law. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to visit our Amazon store to find all the latest and greatest tech products, and use our affiliate link to support the channel. Happy hacking!